guys and girls how are you doing welcome back to the solid rock children's church hope you're all keeping very well and i hope you have been enjoying the lovely lovely sunny weather that we have had for the past few weeks and i know that many of you are still in school but I hope you've managed to enjoy the weather. I trust your teachers. I know they will send you boys and girls to the field, you know, to run around, to play. Uh, well, welcome back um, to this platform because today we have lots of activities that you boys and girls will, will be uh, participating in. I hope you're looking forward to it. I am. So we are going to have a, you know, a worship time. We're going to have a, a memory verse time. We're going to have a quiz. And remember, we have the story time. And after our story, we always have our lesson. This is where we have the discussion of what we make sure you stay tuned and make sure you participate in every activity. God bless you. Today is another awesome day in God's presence and today we are going to be singing about the greatness of God. Do you know we serve a God who is so big, he sits in the heavens and the earth is his footstool. Guess what? He holds every one of us in his hands. Let's go. Hey, put your hands together. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, together, let's go. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. Put your hands together as we sing it. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I feel like dancing. Come on, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Just enjoy the music.
great is our God. I'm sure you know it. Let's go. How great is our God. Sing with me. Sing with me. How great is our God. I know we'll see how great, how great is our God. We'll do it two more times. Now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Hey friends, so I have a memory verse for you today and it's taken from the book of Judges chapter 13 verse 3 to 5. So let's go. The angel of the Lord appeared to Mona's wife and said, Even though you have been unable to have children, you will soon become pregnant and give birth to a son. So be careful. You must not drink wine or any other alcoholic drink, nor eat any forbidden fruit. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and his hair must never be cut, and he will be dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. He will begin to rescue Israel from the Philistines. And that's our memory verse for today. Thank you. One of the leaders of God's people was chosen before he was born. An angel told the mother, You will have a son, but you must never cut his hair. His long hair will show that he's a Nazarite, someone who has work to do for God. This baby grew up to be very strong. His name was Samson. And he always won against his enemies. Samson had a friend named Delilah. She asked, What makes you so strong, Samson? At first, he wouldn't tell her. She begged and whined. Finally, he said, If someone shaved my head, I would lose my strength. When Samson fell asleep, Delilah had someone shave off his hair. Samson wasn't strong anymore. Now his enemies had no trouble taking him to their prison. <laughs> In prison, Samson's hair grew long again. One night, his enemies had a party. They brought Samson in and made fun of him. Samson prayed, Lord, please, give me strength one more time. And God did. When Samson pushed against the pillars that held up the building, down it all came on top of everyone. 
those people would never hurt anyone again. Welcome back. So, apparently, Samson's hair was as long as mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you enjoy that lesson? I did. There's so much to take away. I wish I could hear you tell me what you th what you thought of the story. What did you think? From Delilah to Samson to his hair to his strength to... I mean so many things to talk about right hmm but you know what struck me the very first line of that video it said samson was a servant chosen by god oh hallelujah he was chosen by god from birth did you know you were chosen by god from birth man god chose you 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 my goodness, that's amazing. Say it, say it with me. God chose me. I want you to say wherever you are. Just put your hand on your chest. Say, God chose me. And that is so true. Like, you know the way any creator, so whether it's Apple, it's Android, it's a YouTube video. I know you guys watch all these videos, right? Mm -hmm. So all those people who create all those animations and cartoons and what all the things that even games right they sit and they think and they say mm, i choose this character or this you know this shape or whatever the cartoon character is i choose this i want for example i want I want this character to have a brown hair. They really choose the specifications. So for Samson, God chose that he was going to have a long hair <laughs> and he was going to be strong because God wanted to use his strength to defend his people, Israel. So I know you're already thinking, why did God choose me? Ha ha ha, that's a good question. If you thought about that, mwah because that's a fabulous place to start but you have to remember first you are chosen and god has given you certain abilities like he did with samson for you it may not be strength for you it may be your wisdom for you it may be your beauty even like esther for someone else it may be their skill they're good with their hands they're good with art so what am i saying today Study yourself, look within and find out what did God give me? Just like Samson, what did he give me? What did he choose to give me that I can use to be a blessing? And when you figure it out, when you figure it out, don't stop using it. Protect it. Don't give it away. Don't, don't trade it for anything like Samson. Preserve it. Use it to glorify God. Amen. You are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen. See you next time. Bye. Hello, friends. How are you doing? So you know what we're about to do right now. Yeah, I don't need to remind you. Yeah, quiz time. So let's get straight right into it. First question. Against which nation did the Lord use Samson as the deliverer of the israelites against which nation did the lord use samson as a deliverer of the israelites a philistia b macedonia c egypt d hittite empire and if you answered a philistia then you are correct next question what does the bible say is the name of the young philistine woman samson took as his wife this was in the days before he met delilah a hazeli hazelel pony that was um tongue twisting hazelel pony yeah b elizabeth c it does not say d semadar
and if you answered C, then you are correct. It does not say it. Next question. Where did Samson meet and fall in love with Delilah? Where did Samson meet and fall in love with Delilah? A. Hazor. B. Jerusalem. C. The Valley of Sorek. D. Damascus. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C, the Valley of Sorek. Next question. Why did Delilah try to find the secret of Samson's great strength? A. She wanted to become the queen of Philistia. B. She was blackmailed by the Philistine rulers. C. She was offered money by the Philistine rulers. D. She was curious to know. And if you answered C, then you are correct. She was offered money by the Philistine rulers. Next question. What did Delilah do to subdue Samson once he told her the secret of his strength? A. Covered him with olive palms. B. Fastened him with strong ropes. C. Put him to sleep and shaved off his hair. D. Gave him a drink of muscle relaxing drugs. And if you answered C, then you are correct. She put him to sleep and shaved off his hair. Next question. After the Philistines gorged out Samson's eyes and took him to Gaza, what did they do to him there? A. They bound him with bronze bronze shackles and set him to grind grain in the prison. B. They sold him into slavery in Egypt. C. They beheaded him. D. They put him in in the stocks to entertain the people of Gaza. And if you answered A, then you are correct. They bound him with bronze shackles and set him to grinding grain in prison. Next question. What was the name of the Philistine? Of the, what was the name of the principal god of the philistines in whom in whose temple they gather to worship in judges chapter 16 a dagon b zeus c balzebub d ashtoreth and if you answered a then you are correct the answer is a dagon Next question, number eight. When the Philistines assembled to offer a great sacrifice to their God, what was Delilah doing at this time? A. Pleading to the Philistine rulers for mercy to Samson. B. Watching the entertainment in the temple. C. Praying to God for forgiveness. D. She was not, she is not mentioned. And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D. She is not mentioned there. Number nine, second to the last question. Who helped Samson to fill the pillars of the Philistine temple? Who helped Samson to fill the pillars of the Philistine temple? A. Delilah. B. A servant or a boy. C. High priests of the temple. D. Philistine rulers. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B, a servant or a boy. Now, the last question, number 10. For how many years had Samson led Israel up to the time of his death? For how many years had Samson led Israel up to the time of his death? A, 50. B, 5. C, 20. D, 10. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C, 20 years. So those are all the questions we have for you today. How many did you get right? Come on, don't be discouraged. You can go back and look them up again. So have a nice evening. Bye.